Right, another small video, everyone. This is video three, I reckon. I've just come up along that track, all the way from the sluice at West Huntsville. And uh, right over there is the church that I've got to get back to later. It's about half past one, so I've... It's been an hour and a half so far. My breathing's better as I'm walking along. Um, River Parrot over there and straight over there in front of me once again is Hinkley Point. I don't know if I'll be able to see it or not. There it is, that's coming into view. That's Hinkley Point everyone. There. All on the news. Is it a white elephant? Steert, the village of Steert, Steert Island further over. Burnham, Bristol Channel. Cummage, it's just around the corner in a minute. We should at least be able to get opposite Cummage at least, because then, obviously, um, I know where the walk will take me after there, It'll just be along the other side of the Parrot to Bridgewater. So, um, since I'd done the other side of the Parrot a couple of years ago, um, I don't feel like quite as bad if I don't exactly walk that particular stretch, which might still not be open, some of it. in theory I've done all the way around the coast up to Clevedon um, I've done Portishead to a certain extent as well I've done a little bit of Portishead so I've done quite a bit up to Bristol as it says uh, the Severn Estuary the, the coastal path of course I've walked bring down loads of times Sand Bay um, I've done um, Green, Barrow. So I'm trying to explore bits I haven't done. Like I said, over there I have cycled some of it, but there are bits I wouldn't mind that I have missed. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do some of it yet because there's a walk from Cummage to Porlock, for example, along the coast. Um, but it's not the easiest of coast paths to follow. It's a very, very bumpy, rocky beaches over there. But uh, I can see somebody on the coastal path now over the other side. I'll just zoom in on them. Right over there. Two people will be picking up in a minute. There we go, look. Point in. Got a dog as well. Two people out on a nice river parrot trail walk. This will, of course, be very windy again. Coming up to some sort of beacon now. In theory, I could go to Pollock, nip on the bus back to West Sunspell if I wanted to cheat. <laughs> yeah, the tide's right out. Imagine it lapping the shore here when you're going along. That'd be a different experience, wouldn't it? Burn them right over there. I'm enjoying this. I've put my hat, scarf, gloves on now and windshield as a protection. Now this is Sheila in the Somerset countryside fo um, focusing on the coastal pathways as well as churches. Just over the hill there will be Pollock Church, a lovely white church that can usually be seen around the corner. They, um, 
did a lot of uh, re restoration work in the long ago and they painted it white. And I, I was thinking to myself then, um, sailors coming up the River Parrot in the past would have seen the little church, like a beacon, um, as they came up up to Dumble. There's a, a dock there which ships still come up, I believe. They still come up in high tide. So there's always a chance if you did get out here on a high tide, um, you would see some, some type of ship still coming up, delivering sand. Maybe it would, I'm not sure. Now here, this is obviously a warning to ships. You imagine the water up to here splashing at six, ten foot high here. You imagine the water ten foot high here. All that sticking out to show them this bank, th these beacons here. So they obviously gauge it so that the water obviously doesn't get higher than that white one there. But it would warn ships, you see, and it's solar powered that one. Look, it's got a solar panel on the back. This would warn the ships coming around there. There was a big bank here. It's a warning for them as they have to negotiate the sandbanks. Yeah, so there we go. Look, I'm going to turn off now so I can take some pictures of these various features around me. So like I said, I'm really enjoying this beautiful walk. I've got to walk all the way back, all the way back, all the way back. Like a snake I'm following, weaving in and out, all the way back eventually to All Hallows and All Angels Church. I'm not quite sure, see, one way or other it's about said like that, or it could be All Angels and All Hallows. I'll merge it to the car. A lovely walk back, once I've reached a place where I want to turn back. Coming back, you get some um, perspective in reverse. Every night. 